What up, it's your boy T-Bird here in the reaction. You know I'm not going to do all the Negan's best moments line. I'm still going to make it a walking dead day with my reaction, though. So this one is a little older, though. This is this was made right after the beginning of the seventh season, Natalie. This is called Top 10 Most Shocking Walking Dead Death. This is for me, personally, since I'm finally watched every sing just about every single episode of The Walking Dead now. This is like caught up to where I left where I start first start watching it and I'm up to the season finale as well too. So this is from Watch Mojo. This is the top ten most shocking walking dead deaths. So let's go. Sorry I'm a little out of sync. Matter of fact, hold up. Give me a second. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little something in my throat. Mm, give me a second. Won't fall on that, folks. But let me start it over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. He just got shot in the head like that. Axel. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today oh, yeah. we're counting the, down the, our picks for the top 10 got, shocking got deaths from The Walking Dead. The Sand uh, the Sam Walker. Oh, man. For this list, we're only looking at character deaths from the television series, not the comics or video games. I got... Also, we're defining death as the transition mm. from living to dead, meaning that shocking zombie deaths, such Merle. as Merle's and Sophia's, are not being considered. It almost goes without saying, but this list comes with a major spoiler alert. Number 10, Lori Grimes. If The Walking Dead has taught viewers anything, it's that no character is safe. Children, the elderly, the physically fit, they all taste the same to a walker. We have to get back to our cell block and have personal no, help. We can't yeah, risk getting caught out there. We need to get birth to this baby here. Simply put, the world Rick and his group inhabit is one that's been subjected to a great equalizing force, an unyielding lethal threat in the form of walkers. We will survive. My baby has to survive. Breathe. My baby. For all of us. But even after two seasons of death, we never thought they'd kill a pregnant woman. Sure, it made Lori vulnerable, but that just made Rick extra vigilant. In the end, it wasn't the walkers that got her, it was the harsh reality of their new world, and the lack of modern medicine that comes with it. If you were surprised, mm, imagine how Rick gone. felt. And Carl. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> mm, oh. Number nine, there we go. Lizzie Sanders. Oh yeah. I'll get you more. Lizzie? After seeing Sophia's fate in season two, we learned never to trust the walking dead with children. Right. Danger lurks around every corner and at the bottom of every well, making a child's chance of survival low. In an unexpected turn, the deaths of Lizzie and her sister Mika came at the hands of the living. This episode showed us the psychological toll that life in this dystopian world takes on children. First, we watched in horror as Lizzie grew so detached from reality that she killed her own sister, thinking it would prove her belief that walkers aren't bad. Don't worry. She'll come back. Heartbroken, Carol must kill this confused little girl who mm. she loves dearly, as Lizzie I can, can no longer be trusted part, around like, the so one of the things you want to watch. The flowers. Why she had to do that? It's, that sucked right there. She had to do that. That solely sucked. Number eight. I don't Jesse? care, but I did not care for what reason. I thought that 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 totally sucked that she had to do that. I really did thought that would totally sucked. Sam That's and me. Ron Anderson. Oh yeah, this one was crazy. Poor little Sam. I don't want to kiss death, but I don't want to kiss death. That one was like not so heartbreaking because he was getting annoyed. He was becoming annoyed little shit, in my opinion. I never said that about a little kid, but that little kid. Was not going to survive anyway. The monsters will come, and you won't be able to run away when they come for you. Only one I fell for ever was Jesse. Sure. Everyone suspected that young and Sam was Ron not was an ass. The same, the meek shall inherit the earth, 
does not apply in a zombie apocalypse, and Sam was about as meek as they come. Jessie, right. on the other hand, had just proven herself more than capable when the wolves attacked. Sam yeah. really should have stayed behind with Gabriel and Judith, but he insisted that he could be brave. Take Sam. No. Yes, Sam, it'll be safe. I'm not leaving you. But apparently he was wrong. The old zombie guts camouflage trick was working perfectly, but from the very first nervous mom, Sam sealed his fate mm. and that of his family. The way they were torn apart, brutal. Rick chopping off Jesse's arm, harsh but necessary. Mm. And then Ron finally snapped. Yeah. Damn, oh, yeah. Nah, 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 this death sucked too. That, that was sad. So let's talk about this like man. This one hurt, both for viewers and for Dale. But that's how it goes. You let your guard down for one second, and some half rotten corpse is gonna wander up and take a chunk out of you. Damn it, Dale, why did you spend so long staring at the disemboweled cow rather than looking for the cause? Mm. Before Herschel warmed up, Dale was the grandfather figure and moral compass of the group, and his sudden loss hit them hard. Sorry, brother. His death also taught us that walkers can do just as much damage with their hands as with their teeth. Mm -hmm. It was hardest on Carl, however, who hadn't killed that damn walker when he had the chance. Mm, yeah. A lot of people do not like Carl, but... Number six. Denise Cloy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one was crazy. On this show, you should always be concerned if a secondary cast member starts to get too much screen time in any given episode, since it often means their demise is imminent. But Denise's role in this episode honestly didn't seem like the typical pre-death moment in the spotlight. She had just started a relationship with a main cast member, mm -hmm. she'd become essential to the group as a doctor, right. and had really grown as a character throughout the season. And that speech, that speech was fantastic. Okay. And I wanted you here because you're alone. And then she kept talking why she got shot. Probably for the first time in your life. And because you're stronger than you think you are, which gives me hope. If only we could have heard the end of it. Honestly, who could have seen that crossbow bolt coming? Well, certainly not Denise, given that it entered through the back of her skull. And if you don't wait ah! And she kept Number talking. No Noah. Noah, oh in man. Game. Taken Nicholas instead. Fucking Glenn Nicholas. had a solid that was plan for escape. And got Nicholas killed. totally blew it. One of the best original characters created for the series. Noah was selfless and extremely likable. Heard you talking to Holly last night. What's her story? But yes. Oh, he, oh so he's Very not soon. from the comics. Mm -hmm. He said best original I character from the series. Was was <laughs> Tyler James Williams was perfect in the role, managing to fully flesh out the character during his brief time. With his interest in architecture and the defense of Alexandria, we were sure he was here to stay. But apparently that was classic Walking Dead misdirection. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate the irony of the manner in which he died, though. After all, the show is notorious for being a revolving door of cast members. What a horrible and surprising way to go, though. <laughs> Number four, Shane, Shane Walsh. He's got no bites. Yeah, then you can see. Imagine an alternate reality Walking Dead where the love triangle between Rick, Lori, and Shane never happened. Rick and Shane could have worked together like real partners, and everything would have been awesome. But even in a global catastrophe, matters of the heart are never simple. You're tearing me for keeping secrets when you're, when you're holding on to this! You want me to bring a baby into this? To live a short, cruel life? After almost two seasons of tension, the Shane-Rick conflict came to a head with Shane deciding to murder Rick. So this is where you plan to do it. Mm -hmm. It's a good place he's any. We never expected him to succeed, but we also didn't think Rick could bring himself to kill his once best friend. Didn't it seem like Rick had talked him down? Then the knife flashed. In the end, Shane had broken Rick's trust beyond repair and left him no choice. Damn me, you're making me do this shit. This was you, not me. You did this to us. Oh, and zombie Shane's death was equally shocking. It's not what it seems. Please. Number three. Oh, man. You keep telling yourself you have to do whatever it takes 
Just until this mm, is all. Mm, mm. We accept that The Walking Dead isn't concerned with our feelings, but this felt unnecessary. Everybody say Glenn's dad was hurtful. We spent half a season following the group's search for Beth. This death First, the joyous the reunion between like Beth and the group Hammy is dampened back when Lieutenant Don Lerner reveals that she will not that. let Noah leave with them. No, I just need Noah. Well, this helped. Uh, this had me rocking back and forth. A selfless character as always, Noah accepts, telling and the others to go. As viewers, we were sad, but accepted it knowing that Maggie and Beth were about to be reunited. A pick-me-up they mm. both desperately needed. Then, Beth stabs Don, and Don shoots Beth in the head. We spent so long waiting for this reunion, and it all disappeared with the flash of a gun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Number two, Herschel Green. Yeah. You say you want back to, to back make this prison as peaceful as possible. That means you'd be willing to hurt people to get it. We mentioned that Maggie and Beth could have used something positive to lift their spirits, and this is why. The death of Herschel was one of the most devastating moments in the show. For his daughters, for the entire group, and for viewers. In many ways a Dale 2.0, he was wise, a moral compass, a testament to the adaptability of survivors in this new world, and a constant source of hope. He not only survived being bitten, but also a subsequent back alley style leg amputation. He'd been through so much, we figured the showrunners would finally cut him some slack. We watched the screen riveted, convinced that Rick's moving speech would surely trump the governor's bloodlust. Now you put down your weapons, walk through those gates. You're one of us. And then the sword dropped. Liar. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some yeah, honorable fuck mentions. Fuck that dude. Oh no, Amy must say, yeah, fuck him. Oh, hey, Amy. Yeah, fuck that, fuck that, that dude. He was a, he was abuser, but Amy was sad. T-Dog, yeah. T-Dog. He went up like a... He went like... He went down fighting. That was another fuck up duck like I'm glad she said to you. Oh yeah. made you promise. Yeah, he did. He got cool he did that. That was shock the whole group was shocking. They was they were savage on their asses. They were looking like what the fuck? Real chair looking like what the fuck? And the governor. I told you she was going to kill him, and she did it. Number one, Glenn Reed. Oh, uh, shit. Sure. And there it was, the death that many fans were expecting, but everyone prayed would never come. You mm -hmm. thought you were safe. I get it. In the comic books, Glenn is the one killed seemingly at random by Negan, but the television series decided to throw us a curveball and make Abraham Negan's first victim. Oh, Look at that! Taking it like a champ! Suck. Oh my... barely had time to process the loss of the show's mustachioed badass before Negan, angered by Daryl's reprisal, makes Glenn Lucille's next victim in the show's most brutal and mm. eye-opening moment to date. You got the eye of the garden. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Oh Just to make God. sure the grief hit home. Oh, Rick later dreams of a future made impossible by Negan, mm. where all the characters, including Abraham, Glenn, and Glenn's unborn child, are enjoying a beautiful picnic together. Uh. Do you agree with our list? Uh. I'm 
I'm not gonna kill you. Which Walking Dead death shocked you the most? I wish it didn't have to end. Not this way. For more riveting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. Yep, some of these some Sagan devs like the best one uh, out of all of them, everybody say Glenn won her, the best one hurt me the most out of all of the devs. Oh man. Dad, yeah, like I said, literally hurt me. Mm. Some of the ones, like the Donald Mission one, like the Garrett one, it was like, I knew it was coming, but the way Rick did it was kind of shocking. Governor knew he was going to get killed too, but the way it went as well too. But then he gave me no show and said he, she, he, she was going to kill him. But yeah, this was some good, this was a good pick right here. So then that, um, but yeah, the Glenn's Duff one, yeah, I, it was shot, that shot me. I expected him to die, but I didn't know about the comic at the time. But, um, I think people were so shocked at the death case. One, hoping wasn't going to be, and thought Abe was going to take the death since Denise took his death. But, um, no, nah, they just had to do it. Yeah, I know it's watching. We were watching again. The reason why he didn't be in the second venom because he gave him a freebie for the last year. Launched at him when he's about to we act like he wanted to hit uh, Maggie. But, yeah. So, and since that, since that, since of that, um, one, two, four. Since that video, we had a lot of dust too. One being Sasha. And Carl, May, that's out of the major, all the major characters, Sasha and Carl, and out of my characters, such as uh, oh, God's name, the one that uh was uh dating Carol at the moment for a brief second, that was from Atlanta, Alexandria, he Tobin, yeah, Tobin, and a couple of niggas and niggas um, right as men, Simon and Gavin as well too. Um, there's another one probably missing though too. Oh, and with the half majority of this, uh, the scavengers as well too. I know some else I'm missing as well too. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.